So looking at gradients then, the gradient tells you how much your line goes up or down for every one unit you go across. So here this has gone up one unit and it's gone across one, two, three, four. So it has gone up in up one for every four across, so it's one in four, which is what that says. So generally it is the change in y divided by the change in x. You can see here the change in y is positive, that is to say y is getting bigger as x gets bigger. You can see it's gone up by 1, 2, 3, 4 for every uh, 2 across. So there's 4 up over 2 across, which would be a gradient of 2. 4 divided by 2. 4 divided by 2. Here it's going down by 2 for every 3 across. So it's minus 2 divided by 3, minus 2 thirds. Looking at this one, this goes up 3 for every 1 across. So you've got 3 divided by 1, which is a gradient of 3. We don't have any units on here, so we're just talking uh, squares, really. Here, you have a rise of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. For every 4 across, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 4 divided by 4 would give you a gradient of 1. Now, I said there's no units here. If you did have units, if this was you know, meters and this was seconds, then the units of the gradient would be meters divided by seconds, meters per second. It would be uh, a speed. And we, we did uh, motion graphs earlier in the year. So that should be familiar to you. Here then, you've got one, two, three, four down for every two across. So that is minus four divided by two, minus two. So I'll let you do the rest of those. And down here then it says draw lines with these gradients. Well here you want to go up two and across five. So one, two, three, four, five across, two up. Your end point is there. So it goes from there to there. You could carry on with that. But if you stop there, the line from there to there has a gradient of two-fifths. Here we're going up five and across two. So across two, up five, one, two, three, four, five. My line would stop there, starting there, a straight line between those two points. Minus three divided by six, so it goes down three for every six across. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to finish up here. I'm going to start three higher, so my line goes from there to there. Okay? And then working out the gradients, well, we've done those. And that's some more practice of the same thing. Okay? So writing down the coordinates of the points A, B, C, D, well, we start with the X is 3 and the Y is 4, so A is 3, 4. D is 2, 1. I'll let you do the other two. So there it is. Uh, if you have a problem with any more of this, let me know.